Hello, we're back. It's uh, Sunday, video day. Um, initializing the desk as usual. And this time um, I will show you something new about WX Fade. Uh, we run the program as usual um, by starting it directly from a uh, terminal window. And I want to show you here that we have uh, five files, which are scenes that I've been recording um, previously. Um, these are going to be used during our demo. There is also a WX Fade uh, fill file.txt, which is uh, going to be useful for showing you some of the elements that are inside of it and are used in the demo here. And this is the program that we launch directly on the um, line below. The way we launch the program is just you know, typing WX Fade. Uh, maybe typing wxfade.exe if needed. We launch it with the minus I option for interactive and we load the file with the minus F option. This gives us the possibility to load, load a lot of things that are going to be used in the program. So we're at the desk and I'm going to be restoring um, uh, the file. We are layer two and we have a, uh, a series of elements. Uh, interestingly, those at layer 7 are going to be used later on. You'll see they're enable um, setting some safes and clearing all the safes. So I'm restoring uh, scene number 1, which is all the fader up, um, and nothing special about this. I'm now going to fade to scene number 2, which is slightly below in terms of uh, fader positions, and cross-fading going down and up between scene number two and scene number three or scene number two and itself um, in that case uh, just to show what um, this does now i'm going to be playing with the global saves on some of the uh, channel strips so one has been saved three has been saved uh, four, uh, five and seven are safe um, now if i run again my crossfade, you can see that 1, 3, 5, and 7 faders did not move, but not only the faders, but all the other elements of the channels, because they are globally safe. Um, if I change here the EQ of a non-safed uh, channel, you will see that the non-safed channel EQ will change when we go to the cross point which is right now um, and so this one has changed but the one for uh, the one of the channels that were safe has not changed as expected um, so this is one way of setting some safes uh, for uh, WX Fade. Another way is to use the program safes, which are, you know, using a syntax which is uh, enabling here, in that case, uh, to safe channels 1 to 8. So if I do my same operation as before, you know, going uh, to Crossfade, you can see that channels 1 to 8 did not change at all, and that applies also for, you know, any other element of the uh, the channel. As I show here, the EQ will not change this time for channel number six. Uh, if I clear all these program saves uh, by just pressing one button here, and I'm going back to uh, my crossfade uh, activity, uh, you can see this time that the EQ has been saved, but the uh, faders for the other channels did not move uh, as expected. So what can we actually use in terms of uh, global uh, saves? Basically, there is a lot of things. I just removed all the saves to you know show you that uh, this this works as well. Um, we can basically use all the channels, uh, all the aux channels, all the bus, the main, the matrices, and the effects um, can be globally saved using the, uh, the the screen and the global saves. The other global saves are not used at this point. This may change in the future. Um, this section now is just going to show you that you can also save some uh, effects, for example. So I'm enabling all or saving all the effects. 
and uh, we'll go in the effects uh, screen um, setting some effects whatever they are it doesn't really matter it's just for the demo purposes um, and if I apply my scene um, crossfade or restore whatever I'm doing crossfade here you would expect the effects to change because they're part of the scene they did not change because they were saved uh, I can change that um, by removing some of the uh, saves um, from 3 to or 4 to uh, 16 so 1 to 3 are still saved and doing my crossfade again or restore crossfade this time you will see that um, the three effects on the right have been changed um, as uh, they started at 1, 4, 8 and whatever and 12 if I um, not this guy um, global safe if I clear now all the FX uh, saves I can do again a restore and you can see this time that all the effects are gone um, so this shows you some of the possibilities that uh, the safe actually options uh, offer on WX Fade, either global or program saves. The program actually gives you a list of all the things that it does when it runs. Uh, this can be removed by an option, a silent option if necessary. And in terms of the file that has been uh, loaded, you can see that there is uh, there are a number of lines. One of them is actually to set the saves uh, using the uh, uppercase S and the list of safe um, and this is at the bottom here at layer 7 uh, the first button upper button is actually declared as a clear all safes and you just put an S and that's it um, the button 1 down is what I used as channel 1 to 8 being saved uh, this is the syntax and below is 1 to 8 uh, channels and 1 to X eight aux uh, being saved i didn't use it this time but you get the uh, the essence you can actually save a lot more detailed elements such as you know eq faders and things like that thank you bye bye